AJ here with ProLine. Let's take a look at our integration with our friends over at Eagle View. This is a great integration for both placing orders from ProLine with Eagle View, as well as syncing that measurement data automatically back into ProLine for use in quoting, orders, etc. So let's take a look at how this works. If we go into a project, we can go to the measure tab, and we actually already have an Eagle View report here, but we'll walk you through um, the steps to order a new report. You can click on the Eagle View icon here and then adjust the pin location if you need to, then proceed uh, into configuring the report. Choose the report type, any settings for the report. You can add a promo code if you need to and then submit that order. When you submit that order, it's gonna get sent off to Eagle View and uh, get placed through the associated account, uh, Eagle View account and uh, and then it's going to say report pending here in ProLine while EagleView processes that order. Once it's processed, EagleView is going to send that back and you'll get a notification uh, that, that that report is now complete and the resulting measurement data is going to get loaded in automatically. If you already have a report in EagleView that you want to pull in um, that's already been or ordered, you can do that using the import report tool here. Uh, and then you can either search by address or you can actually just choose a report just from your recent reports, list of recent reports in your EagleView account. You can import that in and then it's going to get, it's gonna pull all that um, automatically into ProLine. And the measurement reports are going to get are going to be broken down by structure. So you can see that this report has two structures. We have building one, building two, and each one has uh, the the um, measurement data broken out for that structure. Uh, we're one of the only platforms, if possibly the only platform that does multi-structure quoting within sync within a single project and quote. Um, so this is a really cool aspect of ProLine and how we integrate over to EagleView is that we do bring in those structure, structures separately. Then when you go to quote the project, we can choose um, our quote here. So we're gonna use uh, a multi-structure quote here. We're gonna select both the structures here from that report and we're gonna hit create. And then ProLine's gonna automatically build out our different structures here with quantities for all relevant items based on the measurements that are in those two structures within the report that came from Eagle View. So within seconds, uh, we've been able to pull over data from Eagle View, generate a quote here that gets automatically built out with the proper quantities. I can then proceed to Generating this quote, it's gonna generate a, a multi-page PDF for this quote, so we'll give this just a second. Once this is generated, it can be signed internally or it can be sent off for signing uh, either way. In both cases, uh, we're gonna get a beautiful PDF here. And so we get our beautiful um, multi-option, multi-page report here and we get the different structures and you can rename these too. So generally you'd rename this to something like main home and garage or whatever uh, is appropriate for the different structures. Um, but by default, they're just going to come building one, building two from Eagle view. And so Perlon has this already broken down for us. Uh, we have pages for each option. We have any uh, add-ons as well. And this is broken down, so we have our good, better, best option for building one, but then we also have good, better, best option for building two. And then here on the signature page, we can see as well that we have this broken down by structure with different options. So not only do we support those multi-option, um, multi, those multi-option um, quotes, but also it's further broken down by structure. So if there's a main if there's a main home that you're quoting and then you're also quoting the detached garage, 
when you send your quote, the homeowner is going to have a choice to either just use you on the main home or use you for the, the home, main home and the garage, whereas all of your competitors are going to be sending a quote that's just for the whole project. And so it's going to be a lot more convenient if that homeowner decides that the whole project is too much money. They're just going to do the main house right now. They're just going to do the garage because maybe the garage is leaking or whatever it is. They're much more likely to just go ahead and sign with you on that part of the of the project on that one structure then go back to your competitors and have them requote it for one structure so this is going to increase your close rate when it comes to those multi-structure pro projects and if it's not a multi-structure project proline works just as well it's just going to be just going to have a single structure here and there won't be any selection on it so uh, works for multi-structure single structure uh, in both cases proline is going to work great for you uh, and then when it comes time to order, you can generate an order based on that quote that then can be customized um, and then uh, sent off to suppliers, sent off to your subs uh, to actually get that job in motion. And real quick, we'll just touch on the kind of configuration side of Eagle View here. <clears throat> so you map out, this is sort of a, a step that you gotta go through when you connect Eagle View to Proline, you would select out uh, which measurement fields on the Proline side, or um, yeah, measurement fields on the Proline side match up with which values coming from Eagle View. So you would um, map those out here, just takes a few seconds, then connect Eagle View to Proline, and then from there you have the option to limit the report types that can be ordered through your account. So um, you may have a lot of different options on your Eagle View account, but if, especially if you have sales reps that are placing orders, you might not want them to be able to just place any type of order. So you can restrict that here so they're only able to, to, um, to order the types of reports that you want them to be able to, to order. And that's pretty much it um, for the Eagle View integration, covers all of it. Um, uh, happy to go, we're happy to go over this in more depth on a demo. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, to for a demo or to our support team if you're already an existing user.